skincare. One thing that you guys already know from my previous video is that I do not like to go on my phone in the morning. It just like clouds my brain and it doesn't set my day up for success. First thing when you wake up, you have a fresh brain, you have a fresh body because you've just woken up after getting a long rest hopefully and i feel like the worst thing that you can do is scroll on social media or look at emails first thing or start doing work first thing when you wake up i like to take time in my morning to just have for myself because throughout my whole day i'm on my computer i'm on my phone and so i like saving the space in the morning to just be with myself and it really does set my day up for success but anyway so yeah just in my skincare and now i make my way into the kitchen where i'm gonna have my lemon water and my vitamins so i like doing this first thing like on an empty stomach in the morning it just makes me feel really good and it's been something that I've incorporated into my routine quite a while now but yeah my sleep schedule honestly fluctuates from time to time season to season Not too long ago I was going to bed at 9 o'clock and waking up at 5 a.m. but now I'm waking up more towards 7 8 it just depends and going to bed a little bit later so it just kind of depends what era of my life I'm in or what time I'm waking up at but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video my morning routine is just really sacred to me and it's something that I truly look forward to every morning if I had like one tip it would be to curate a morning routine for yourself that you actually go to bed kind of excited to do because you don't want to have to wake up and do something that you completely dread so make sure you're incorporating things into your morning routine that make you excited to wake up and that's been a game changer for me but yeah hope you guys enjoy my morning routine So now's the time of morning where I really like to read a little bit. I've been incorporating reading into my morning routine for the past like month now. Not a fiction book, but a spiritual book. Something that fuels my inner soul and something that makes me feel connected to the universe, to source every single day. Because I realize that if I don't remind myself and read a little snippet every day, my connection to the universe and what I think about like manifestation and all those things, it kind of starts to fade away and it's not as much like in the forefront of my mind versus when I do read a little snippet every day or surround myself with some sort of motivation about it it really like helps me manifest and stay on track with what I want like for my in terms of like my spiritual goals how I look at life and it's just like a good reminder and it sets the tone for the rest of the day doing this and it truly truly makes such a difference in my mood my motivation my outlook on life every single day and it does 
does make every single day so much better for me so this is something that's like crucial i would do this occasionally like in the past but now i've implemented it into my morning routine and it's something i do every single day i actually got gifted this book by talia i love you by the way and it's called the seven spiritual laws of success it's by deepak chopra and it's a pocketbook guide to fulfilling your dreams and if you were to read the whole book in one sitting it's so small it would only take you like an hour but what i like doing is reading a chapter every single day and this is like my third or fourth time reading this book now with these types of books you can never read them enough like i can probably read this every single day for the rest of my life and i would never get bored of it because it re-inspires me every single day and if i just read this book once and like that was it i put it down for the rest of my life it wouldn't have as big of an impact because like i said when i don't surround myself with motivation things tend to fade in my brain and they're not at the forefront so reading this every single morning is just the best thing and it only takes me around like five to ten minutes to read a chapter a day i'll link it down below yeah, so i sit here and read my book while i drink my water but yeah, this is just like the me self-nurturing time in the morning that, that I look forward to every single day. Now's the time of the morning where I like to take my vitamins. April's here, like it's already spring, almost May's here. One of my goals for this season and for just the year overall is to really prioritize my wellness and take care of myself. I would love to thank Care Of for sponsoring this video because I have been taking their vitamins every single day and they've just made me feel so good. So if you guys don't know what Care Of is, it is a subscription supplement service that makes it super easy to stay to a consistent vitamin routine. So what you do is you go on their website and you take a quiz about your lifestyle style and health goals and then care of assesses all of that and they recommend which vitamins and supplements are going to work best for you so in my custom daily pack i got two different types of vitamins one of them being collagen and taking that every day has made the most dramatic difference in my skin another vitamin that i got from them is digestive enzymes after taking them it has helped my stomach so much care of just offers such high quality products they're thoughtfully sourced and they have research backed ingredients that can help you feel your best and one thing that i really love about them is they offer a free app which offers daily reminders to take your vitamins it also rewards you for your consistency with exclusive discount codes and merch and you can get that just by tracking your progress within the app if you guys are interested you can click the link down below and take care of quiz and see what's recommended for you and you can use my code bento50 and get yourselves 50 percent off on your first monthly order let's take my vitamins set um i just put on the strompers from maritzia but now is the time of the morning where i love to go to the beach and do my yoga and meditation and then after i do that i love going on a nice hot girl walk doing these things just makes me feel so good especially now that i can do them outside since the weather here is so nice and sunny and i'm by the beach it is just the best thing ever yoga is something that i've been doing for a while now and i just can't go without it anymore like if i don't do yoga i feel it like i just do not feel as good i feel so stiff during the day and ever since i started to incorporate yoga i have noticed such a big difference in my flexibility and just like my day-to-day -day and how my body feels it makes me feel so good so i would definitely recommend incorporating some sort of stretching into your morning routine if you guys don't do it already it doesn't even have to be long could be literally just like five minutes of stretching when you get out of bed but it makes a world of a difference in terms of like just like the way your body feels when you first wake up so i'm gonna go do that at the beach and then also gonna do my meditation i only do like a 15 minute meditation every day but it sets the tone for the day i talked about this more in my last video and yeah so let's go to the beach i'm so excited
I just finished my yoga and my meditation. I'm like huffing and puffing because I had to walk up a bunch of stairs, but um, I'm just gonna go home now quickly and drop off this and then my bag. And then we're gonna regroup and go on a hot girl walk. We gotta get our movement in. We gotta get some exercise in and this is like one of my favorite things to do while listening to a podcast like a motivational podcast or just like music that really pumps me up and it's like the best thing ever it makes me feel so like good and uplifted afterwards and it honestly makes the biggest difference in my mood especially in the morning it's something i wake up and look forward to especially now that it's sunny and beautiful here i can go outside and walk because Back at home, it was like raining every day, so it's hard to do that. But if you can, if you live somewhere nice and the weather is nice, especially in the summer, summer's coming up, I would 10 out of 10 suggest going, even if it's just like a 10 minute walk while listening to something motivational, makes a world of a difference, would recommend. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm just gonna go drop everything off and then we're gonna go on our walk. Let's go. Right out. Now, I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass is. Make an old man get his glasses. Make Welcome back home. So, just finished my hopper walk. It was so good. It's honestly so nice and hot out today. I just changed. I just put on this cute little long sleeve because I'm going to be in the house most of the day. So, it doesn't matter because it's cool in here. And then I just put on these gray shorts from Aritzia. But now's the time where I sit down and do my makeup because I have been making an effort to get ready every Every single day and putting on just a little bit of makeup makes me feel really good productive so I'm just gonna quickly show you guys my makeup routine I do the same thing now like every single day besides like if I'm going out I'll do something a little bit more heavy like I'll put on my Charlotte Tilbury as like a foundation because I don't really wear foundation but other than that like I do the same thing every single day so yeah I brought my little makeup bag with me in the room um, and I'm just gonna do my makeup here sitting on the floor but I do miss my vanity back home though because that's something that like I had all my makeup displayed on and it was really nice but that's okay so recently i've been obsessed with this nyx concealer it's just their bear with me concealer serum i think i've mentioned this before but it is just so good i have a few high-end concealers and oh my god there's a little sand on my chin and this has been my favorite favorite one nothing has been better than this to me like i don't know what it is but it just works really well on my skin and it's super hydrating and the coverage is amazing and then i just take my elf brush and blend that in i don't really like to do my makeup too heavy personally every day just because i'm into the like no makeup you know makeup looks i literally brought two backups with me because i was scared that they weren't gonna have this concealer here in case i ran out so i needed to be safe <laughs> now i go in with the makeup by mario soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer in the shade light medium and i just take this on a brush and do a little bit of bronzing and it is so good i prefer this over using like a contour stick just because i don't know i just find it a lot easier to use and it's really fast now i'm just gonna go in with this summer fridays blush this is in the shade pink skies and i love this so much this is a cheek and lip stain um but the color is super pretty and i just take it on my finger and i just dab it in and it's so pretty i feel like their blushes are so underrated like nobody knows about them but they're so good i forgot to mention but i usually put the elf power grip primer on before i really like it i haven't tried many primers so i have nothing to compare it to but so far i mean it's good i feel like it does keep my makeup on longer so okay now i'm oh my god my eyebrow brush broke off there we go i kind of retouched it but it like won't go all the way in that should do the job okay so now i just take this end of the elf crayon and i dip it into the elf brow lift and i love this stuff so much it honestly works really well apparently this is a dupe for the anastasia brow lift i've actually never tried that one but i mean this elf one works great so so now i just take the charlotte tilbury um powder and then i take a little powder powder puff and i just set my concealer I don't really put much on just because I like to keep things like dewy. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll put the Too Faced Cloud Crush um, blush to kind of top up my liquid one. And it's such a pretty color. I just put like a tiny bit on just because I feel like blush doesn't really last on me. And it always fades throughout the day. So the more, the merrier for me. Now I'm just going to go in with the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist and spray that all over my face. I actually really like it and what I like about it is it doesn't have any like unnatural fragrance. It has coconut in it which doesn't um, affect my eczema because when I had eczema on my eyelids, I couldn't really use a setting spray because it would like burn it. I used to use the Rare Beauty one. I love Rare Beauty, but I couldn't use it over top of my eczema when that was on my eyelids just because when I sprayed it, it burned it because it had, I think, a little bit of fragrance in it. But since this e.l.f. one is just like coconut, it sits 
sits fine on like my eczema so that's why i really like it now i'm just gonna curl my eyelashes my eyelashes do not stay curled like i'll initially curl them and they'll look super good and then in a matter of like two seconds they're already like down straight so please let me know if you guys have any tips on how to keep your eyelashes curled because i even use like waterproof mascara and it still doesn't keep my eyelashes curled like they just disappear and it's really annoying because i do really like this eyelash curler and it does such a good job but like my eyelashes just never stay curled which is really annoying i'm just gonna go in with the covergirl clump crusher this is the water resistant one in brown and i just like it because it's perfect for every day because it's super natural brown mascara is honestly just the best because it goes on so much more light than black mascara and it looks really good if you just want like a little something <laughs> I'm just gonna take this Drunk Elephant lip balm now and apply it. I just like applying it before I do my lip liner. And then I'm just gonna go in with the Essence 8 Hour Matte Lip Liner. And this is in the shade, oh my god, the shade rubbed off, I think. Um, okay, I don't know what shade this is, but I'm not even kidding you. This is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. So good, and it's only like $4. <laughs> And yeah, so that's my everyday makeup look. It's so easy. It takes me like eight minutes to do every single day, which is really convenient for me. And that also like motivates me to actually get myself ready every single day. But yeah, I don't do anything crazy. There's currently something in my eye. I actually hate when that happens. There's like a loose eyelash somewhere. I'm pretty sure my makeup bag is what like was taking up all the weight in my luggage because I swear this thing is like 10 pounds. Okay, maybe not 10, but like it's so heavy. I'm just gonna do something with my hair. I don't know what I want to do. It's kind of greasy today. Today. um we'll see but i'm gonna just do something with my hair and then i'm gonna make breakfast and then have a nice coffee which i'm so excited for i just decided to put a hat on because whatever i'm just gonna keep my hair in braids today but i decided to have yogurt for breakfast i bought this like strawberry soy yogurt and it's so good and then i also have granola so i'm gonna make that and as for iced coffee goes joel makes co himself coffee like every morning and he just has it black but since i intermittent fast and i don't really like to have coffee until like after or during i eat i just get him to put a glass of coffee in the fridge for me so that by the time i actually come around to drinking it it's perfectly cold um and then i just add iced milk so i'm gonna make this coffee and then have the yogurt i did some online grocery shopping here and they had oatly here so i was like okay i have to get it and then they also had this um, other brand which i'm excited to try because i've never seen this brand before and it's a barista edition as well like they're both like barista editions just different brands so i'm excited to try this one that i've never heard of <laughs> That was my morning routine. This is like my ideal morning routine and what I drive to do every single day. I gotta call it like my lug my luxury morning routine because every single day is not gonna look like this. Sometimes I don't do any of this because I am having period cramps or I'm just not feeling it that day. Everything fluctuates, it's all ebb and flow and it's completely normal, but I just wanted to show you guys what my ideal morning routine looks like and this is what I strive to do every single day. It's not always perfect, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and maybe took some inspiration to add into your morning routine. The morning is honestly just such a sacred space, I feel like, and it's super important to get some self-care in the morning if you have time, if you can. Even if that means waking up like 20 minutes early to do something that you love, I feel like it's really important to start the day off on the best note possible. But yeah, so after I eat, um, I am just gonna go now start work. So doing emails, editing, filming, whatever it is that I have to do today, and then get started with my day basically. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I've been so active on there recently. Also Pinterest, everything is linked down below. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below any video ideas that you guys wanna see, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I love you guys so much I'm thankful for your support every single day and I'll see you guys in my next video. No, I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass is. Make an old man get his glasses, make Wesley pay his taxes, then follow your moves all week on Twitter. Probably make a gay nigga reconsider. You're now rocking with the best, man. Dress game down to the sex game. Won't rap with the boy been blessed, man.